Nigeria's Minister of Information and Culture, Lai Mohammed, has denied claims that his principal, Muhammad Buhari, is coddling criminals. Mr. Mohammed, who recently got a chieftaincy title from Kebi Traditional Council, described as misleading the claims that Buhari pampers terrorists. He has refused to prescribe while going hard on separatists like Inamdikanu and Sunday Igboho. Speaking on the Nigerian Television Authority, NTA program Good Morning Nigeria, Mohammed insisted that bandits are criminals with no basis on religion or ideology. Mohammed, according to him, I think we have been dancing around nomenclature. A criminal is a criminal, whether it is a bandit or terrorist, and the same measure is being meted out on them. Despite the fact that the well-known Islamic cleric Sheikh Ahmed Gumi openly campaigns for the amnesty and welfare of these terrorists, they have chosen to call bandits the Buhari-led government, that is, the Buhari-led administration, has failed to swing into action, preferring to defend their clearly dubious stance. That is why we found it ridiculous the accusation that the federal government is softer on bandits than the separatists and other criminals. Mr. Lai went on to call those pointing out this maladministration as being decisive. This is a fallacy of fake news and misinformation all into one, and this is the kind of decisive rhetoric being promoted by some naysayers. What is your thought about this that has been said by Lai Mohammed? What is your reaction to his statement? According to the news, Nigeria's Minister of Information and Culture, Lai Mohammed, has denied claims that his principal, Muhammad Buhari, is coddling criminals. Mohammed, who recently got a chieftaincy title from KB, traditional council, described as misleading the claims that Buhari pampers terrorists. He has refused to prescribe while going hard on separatists like Enandi Kanu and Sunday Igboho. What is your thought about this? You know, it has been said so many times that the president is coddling criminals. Why won't we say the president is coddling criminals? Looking at the present state of insecurity in Nigeria, not only, you know, in Nigeria, looking at the northern states, most especially in states like Castina, which is the home state of the president, we can see the way insecurity is being ravaged in that state and we have seen the president the way he has reacted to it he have been showing lackadaisical attitude to those incidents it shows that even the president is not concerned about the safety of his own people is not concerned of his own people is not concerned about their safety of life and properties why won't they say he's the one cuddling the criminals because if you are not the one cuddling the criminals why won't you prescribe them as criminals and do the needful. So many times also we have heard about Gumi going into the you know forest, going into the hideout of these Pokwaram insurgents, negotiating with them, giving them cash in hand, negotiating, you know, trying to negotiate peacefulness with them, and yet he goes to that place with different you know security agencies and yet they claim they don't know where these people hide. They claim they don't know their hideouts. What are we doing in this country? Looking at this present situation of things, would you say this president is the one calling criminal in this country? Probably, if he is not responsible for this, then why is Mazin Amdikanu and Sunday Boho still in detention? It has been said that the president is pampering terrorists because he has refused to prescribe them. He refused to prescribe the terrorists 
and is going hard on separatists like Inandi Kano and Sunday Igboho because these people are really fighting for what they think is best for them. It is as a result of the insecurity we have been you know, facing in this country in recent time. The insecurity in Nigeria is really at the top now and in no time we will lose this country if things continue like this because Mazen Kano is still in detention and we have had IPOB doing all their possible best to show solidarity to him. We have had about the seat at home order given by the indigenous people of Biafra so many things that the IPOB have done all in the name of showing solidarity to their leader who is in detention. Also, Sunday Boho has also been detained, though not in Nigeria, but he has remained in the custody of the Beninese government for a very long time. And yet, people who are killing other ones, people who are unleashing terror on the residents, people who are people who are unleashing terror on the innocent civilians, are being given amnesty after the bar probably have repented. We have heard about Boko Haram. We have heard about ISWAP members surrendering to the troops of the Nigerian government and repenting. And the Nigerian government have you know, given them amnesty and not only giving them amnesty, also giving them huge amounts of money and reintegrating them into the larger society. Why won't the go you know the people of Nigeria says that it is the president that is coddling criminals? What is your thought about this? We would like you to let us know your thoughts about this. Looking at the present situation of things, would you say Buhari is not pampering bandits? We would like you to share your thoughts with us on this, but before we go, let's people's reactions and know their thoughts about this. Let's see what people have felt concerning the present situation of things in Nigeria. Guest here reacted to this and said, Lai Muhammad, in fact, you disappointed me. You have no human feeling for the life of people that Fulani held us have wasted. Remember that what we did on earth must be accounted by us thereafter. What is your thought about this? We have heard what guests have said that is disappointed concerning what like Muhammad have said. He said he has no human feeling for the life of people who have been killed by the Fulani held us. So many people have been wasted by these Fulani elders, and you claim that President Muhammad Buhari is not the one cuddling criminals. Mannix also reacted and said, You can say what you like, after all, Buhari is cuddling your mouth. What is your thought about this? He says, It is President Muhammad Buhari that is cuddling Lai Muhammad's mouth. So, why won't you say something? All in favor of the president. What is your thought about this? We have had different reactions from different people saying that they are disappointed in what in the Lai Muhammad have said. Lai Muhammad is said to be the Nigerian Minister of Information and Culture. We would like you to let us know your thoughts about this. Don't forget that Lai Muhammad have said Buhari is not pampering bandits. Would you say, considering the present situation of things? and the attitude of the president towards the insecurity challenges. Would you say Buhari is not pampering bandits? We would like you to drop your thoughts via the comment section. Thank you guys for listening. Subscribe to this channel if you have not. And I'll see you on the other news. Bye for now.